problems to solve, which is practice problem 2.15 from study cookbook. So for the bridge network in figure 2.54, find the resistance of A, B, and I, A. See what can we do here? I think I will copy the circuit first and then crop them. Crop it times English is confusing. I'm sorry because English is not my native language. Okay, now what can we do from here? Okay, we are asked to find this I from here. The problem is, I don't remember all the formula for Y delta. So, my resolve, my solution will involve series. a simple but maybe long circuit analysis. So, I will do not, I will do mesh analysis from here. Let's make this as loop number one, this as loop number two, and this here as loop number three. So let's analyze the loops one by one. So at loop one. Okay, and in each loop, we need to use FEL. It states that the sum of voltage will equal to zero. So we first we have this voltage source here. <coughs> so I will have minus because it is flowing from negative to positive. So minus 240 plus this one 13, 13 I1 and then plus 24 this one 24 I1 minus I2 and then lastly we have this one here 30 so plus 30 I1 but I3 is flowing to the other direction so minus I3 and this will equal to 0 and first let's move that 240 to the right hand side so we'll have 13 1 and let's distribute this so plus 24i1 minus 24i2 and then plus 30i1 minus 30 and that will equal to 200 and 40. Okay, let's group all together. So this has V1, I1 in it. And all the others are not. So 13 plus 24, what is it? 37. Oh, the number is not good. Yeah, 37. 37 plus 30. 37 plus 30 will be what is it? 67. 67 I won. Yeah, I don't think I made mistakes here. 57 plus 30, yeah. Okay. Minus 24 I2. Minus 30 I3. And that will equal to 240. Okay, that is for the loop one. So now let's do at loop number two. Okay, the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. And because our focus ends at loop two, so here we have 24 here. 24 of I2 but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I1 and then plus 10 I2 
pen I2. And then this one, plus 20. What is it? 20. I2 minus I3. Okay. I3. And all of this will equal to 0. Okay, let's distribute this. So 24 I2 minus 24 I1 plus and I2 plus 20 I2 minus 20 I3 and that will equal to 0 and let's group all of them together so we will have all that have I2 here I like it so I have 30 here 30 plus this one which is 54 right 54 so I will have minus 24 I1 plus 54 I2 minus 20 I3 yeah minus 20 I3 that will equal to 0 and then we still need to do one more loop so one more loop add loop 3 again we use kvl it is sigma v is equal to 0 and for this one we will have from this one 30 i3 minus i1 and then plus 20 i3 minus i2 and then plus 50 i3 and that will all equal to 0 and so we'll have 30 i3 minus 30 I1 plus 20 I3 minus 20 I2 plus 50 I3 and all of this will equal to 0 and let's highlight all the I3 so I have 30 plus 20 plus 50 so all of them will get us to what is it 30 plus 20 is 50 50 plus 50 is 100 okay 100 i3 and then for i2 it's minus 20 i2 and then this one will be minus 30 i and that will equal to zero and so from here we have three equation with three variables so this is equation number one this is equation number two and this is equation number. okay now let's just select that equation this is equation number one and this is equation number okay let's copy that and make a new slide okay now i have three equation with three variables Hmm. Okay, and yeah. Okay, let our task is to finish all of this. Okay, now what can we do from here? I think 
yeah, Wolfram Alpha may be good for solving this. Let's see. Let's see it, let's see it. Wolfram Alpha. Okay. Let's see. Solve. Okay, I name I1 as X and I2 as Y and I3 as Z. So solve. X plus A minus 24Y minus 30Z equal to f4 comma x plus y plus 20 c equal to z4 and more equation Minus 30 x 20 okay, and plus 100 z that will equal 0. Okay, we got. We got this x, y, and z. So i1 is 6, y is 18 over 5, and i3 is 63 over 25. So let's copy paste that. Let's copy paste that. Yeah. To our slide, so I don't do the big end. So from here we can conclude that I1. Yeah. I1 is 6. 6 on that. And I2 is 18 over 5 on that. And I3 is 63 point 25. So, what can we get from here? So, I. So, the question is to find out I. Okay, let's copy the. Let's copy the problem again. So the problem wants us to find i, but in our case, i is equal to i1, right? Because i is here, and i is the current in this loop, and that is the same value. So I will have i I need to use the pen, the highlighter. So i is equal to i, and so i should be 6 ampere. Okay. And then, because the voltage will be 260, and the current will be 6 ampere, we can find the resistance simply using Ohm's law. So the voltage divided by the current. The voltage will be 240. And then the current will be 6 ampere. And so that makes the resistance is 40 ohm. So the resistance is 40 ohm. 
So we get the we get the current I is six ampere and the resistance is four T oh four T oh. And I think that's all the problems from chapter two. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes, but maybe I did in some problems so let me know in the comments and see you bye bye